morally and ethically, it's such a small percentage for our customers. You just can't, oh, sorry, you can't afford it. You don't get internet anymore. It's just not the right thing to do. And so, um, you know, we have talked to several of them. I mean, I, I talked to a couple personally, but I know our staff has talked to them and we said, does this make a difference between you being able to afford service and not? And, you know, enough of them said yes, that we said, okay, well, we'll figure something out. And that's why we decided to extend it because, but, you know, what was said earlier before um, with the, the EVB was $50 a month. That was, that paid hundred percent of the cost initially before we even had a lower cost program. And so, and that was during the pandemic when everyone's working from home, everyone's you know, in school from home. So you had a huge uptick in people getting better broadband at that time. And then obviously they just kept it through ACP. So like, I don't know who, who went through the EBB stage and didn't use that benefit if they knew about it, who would then later on say, oh, well now COVID's over and we're all back to school and back to work, but now I need high-speed internet. It just doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm.